quadratic equation, relationship between the roots and the coefficients. In previous video, we have learned that we can form a quadratic equation from the roots by using these equations, x squared minus the sum of root x plus the products of root equal to zero. Now we have also learned that the general form for quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Now we have two equations and to make these two equations comparable, um, we need to remove this a so that the coefficients of x squared uh, are equal to one. And to remove a, we uh, divide these equations by a yeah? and therefore we get this. A divided by A, we get 1, and then uh, B divided by A, we have B over A, and C divided by A, we have C over A. Yeah? Okay, now we have two equations, and let's compare these two equations. We found that uh, the coefficients of X is equal to negative uh, sum of roots, and is also equal to B over A. Yeah? Therefore, uh, we say the negative sum of roots is equal to b over a or the sum of root equal to negative b over a. Now, we can also compare the coefficient c. Now, when we compare the constant, we found that the product of root is equal to c over a. So this is another conclusion that we get the product of roots equal to C over A, okay? These are the two very, very important formulas that you need to remember to solve the problems related to the sum of roots and the products of roots. Now, let's see this example. For the first equations, x squared minus 2x, um, our A is equal to 1, the coefficients of x equal to 1, uh, b equal to negative 2, and c equal to 0. Okay, so uh, our sum of root, sum of root is equal to negative b over a, yeah? negative b over a, and uh, b is equal to negative 2, and a equal to 1, and therefore this is equal to uh, positive 2. And the products of roots, products of root is equal to c over a, and uh, c equal to 0, and a equal to 1, and therefore this is equal to 0. So these are the sum of roots and the products of roots. Eh? Okay. Now for these equations, our a equal to 1, b equal to negative 1 and c equal to negative 2 and therefore the sum of root is equal to negative b over a uh, b equals to negative 1 negative negative 1 and a equal to 1 and therefore this is equal to 1 and the products of root is equal to c over a and c is equal to negative 2 and a equals 1 and therefore this is equal to negative 2. So this is the sum of root and product of root of these uh, equations. Last one, a equal to 3, b equal to 6 and c equal to negative 7. So sum of root equal to negative b over a uh, b is 6 so negative 6 and a equal to 3 and therefore this is equal to negative 2 and the products of root is equal to c over a and uh, c equal to negative 7 and a equal to 3 yeah? Therefore, this is equal to negative 7 over 3. So the products of roots is equal to negative 7 over 3. So this is how we find the sum of roots and the products of roots from uh, the coefficients. Okay, Sum of roots is equal to negative b over a and the products of root is equal to c over a. 
Now let's see another example. Find the sum of roots and products of roots of the following equations. Now, take a note that these two equations are not in general form. To find the sum of roots and products of roots, we need to rewrite it into general form. So let's start with question A. Let's copy the questions here. X, X minus 1 equal to 3, 2X minus 1. Okay, let's expand this. X squared minus X equal to 3 times 2X, 6X. And 3 times negative 1, negative 3. We need to bring over uh, the 6x and negative 3 to the left hand side. So the equations become x squared minus x minus 6x plus 3 equal to 0. Okay, so um, let's group the x terms together x squared minus 7x plus 3 equal to 0. Uh, now, the equations is in general form, and therefore we can find the sum of roots and products of roots. Eh? Sum of roots is equal to negative b over a. Yeah? And uh, b is negative 7, and a is equal to 1. So this is equal to positive 7. Okay. And the products of roots, product of roots is equal to C over A. And uh, our C is positive 3. So 3 and uh, A is 1. And therefore, this is equal to 3. So these are the answer for sum of roots and products of roots. For question B, uh, again, let's rewrite the questions. We have 2p plus 5 x squared minus 2x plus p okay, equal to 0. Now, I think this equation is already in general form. I was wrong just now because I told you that these two equations are not in general form uh, but now I realize that this equation actually is in general form uh, since it's already in general form we can straight away find the sum of roots and products of roots eh? so our sum of roots is equal to negative b over a eh? and in this case the b is uh, negative 2 eh? negative 2 and the a is 2p plus 5 2p plus 5 and uh, minus negative become positive so it's a uh, 2 over 2p plus 5 so this is our sum of roots and our product of roots is equal to c over a and C is equal to P, P, and uh, A is 2P plus 5, 2P plus 5. And this is our products of roots. Okay, that's the answer.